How's it going, boys, girls, and squirrels? Netflix is, uh... Netflix is taking another crack at it. So a trailer for Netflix's live-action adaptation of One Piece just dropped, and everybody's talking about it. Now this is a project that absolutely nobody has had any faith in. For multiple reasons. For one, it's just such a weird choice. Such a weird choice to make One Piece a live action series. And it's such a visually insane world that in order to properly adapt that into live action, you would either need Jeff Bezos backing the project, or just go entirely original, change everything except for the plot, and just hope audiences are cool with that. I personally would be okay with that, if it's good. <laughs> That's the big asterisk, right? But I just don't think One Piece has a tone, a visual style, or like a world that can be like that is just like ready to come out of the oven into the live action world without major changes however netflix has in the past taken a swing at some anime that were just completely ready to be adapted into live action and totally fumbled the ball on them if you were to ask me which anime would make the easiest transitions from cartoon to live action i would tell you death note and cowboy bebop both of which Netflix has managed to just utterly screw up. Those were just such, like, like I could make a live action Death Note. It's so incomprehensible how horribly Netflix handled the Death Note movie. And I feel like it's because both the Death Note movie and the Cowboy Bebop adaptation felt like they were made by someone's dad who had just seen the shows in passing glances as they passed by their son's room, who was actually a fan. Like, it felt like both adaptations were made by somebody who just read the synopsis of either property and was like, ah, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll throw something together, it's fine. There was no heart to them. They felt passionless, which is really all I want to see from this trailer. So, enough stalling, <laughs> let's get into it. Ever since I was a kid. Luffy's casting is great. This dude looks perfect for the role. Netflix really lucked out with the fact that Luffy is like canonically 17 years old at the beginning of this series. The biggest hurdle the live action Avatar series is going to have to overcome is the fact that most of the cast is between 12 and 15 years old. Because 12 years old is so young. That is an age that only works for a protagonist that is either animated or unseen. And by unseen, I of course mean like written down, like in books. Do you know how young 12 years old is? That's not what a gentleman does. Uh, I've never called myself a gentleman. <laughs> <laughs> That's how young 12 years old is. Now imagine if that kid reached across the table and tried to kick the shit out of Gordon Ramsay. No chance. That girl would be turning in her apron for a body bag at the end of the season. It's gonna be so hard to convince me that a 12 year old can take down waves of 30 year olds, whether they have superpowers or not. On top of that, this dude just straight up looks like Luffy. Like I think this is like just all around great casting. All I need is a loyal crew. And I think together we'd make a pretty good team. Yo, honestly, Zoro looks great too. The green hair doesn't look silly. The dude's got a great, like, ferocious stare. In terms of, like, cinematography and visual tone, everything's looking pretty great too. A lot of people think that a good live action adaptation of an anime can't be done. I am not one of those people. I firmly think that it is possible to make a banger adaptation of an anime. I just think Hollywood hasn't tried hard enough. They're not hiring the right people who understand the medium, and they're not putting in the budget required to turn something as insane as this into a live action property. All that being said, One Piece is the worst anime to choose to do that with. Now as far as cinematography goes, <laughs> This is looking pretty identical to Cowboy Bebop, which is not a good thing, but also maybe not as bad as that sounds. Cowboy Bebop's cinematography was absolutely terrible. Like, student film levels of poor composition, lighting, weird, weird Dutch angles, like, all over the place for no reason, and, like, a ton of, like, weird, disgusting fisheye lens shots. It was just, like... Totally a mess. Totally a mess for like its own self and also as an adaptation 
of, of a really cool and subdued anime. Like, it just completely missed the point of what it was adapting. It was going for this weird, zany, quirky visual style. When Cowboy Bebop is known and loved for being, like, cool and slick and mature. Now, thankfully, one Piece isn't cool and slick and mature. One Piece is zany and quirky and goofy. And so cinematography that felt super out of place and weird in Cowboy Bebop might feel more in place here. Also, like, the cinematography just looks better in this trailer so far than it looked in, like, even Cowboy Bebop's trailer. But the overall look is very similar, which is super weird to me. It almost feels like both shows didn't have a very high budget to get, like, really good camera lenses, and so they're trying to overcompensate by just color grading the hell out of it. Like, both shows feel like they're over color grading to mask the fact that the lenses aren't very good. Which is why shots like this look kind of weird. Like, it's not just the background that's out of focus. It's like almost everything up until the point of Luffy's nose. Either that, or they just don't have the budget to incorporate green screen very well. Like maybe, maybe them making the green screen in shallow focus is like making things look weird. I don't know how much of this is like a built set and how much of this is all just like CGI. <laughs> That looked kind of cool, kind of slow on repeat watches, but I appreciate the camera movement, you know, I appreciate that, like, there, there's a bit of that heart already that I was looking for in the other shows. And like I said, Zoro's actor is, like, kind of nailing it for me. A treacherous stretch of ocean with bigger islands. Nami's rough. <laughs> Nami's rough, but it's nobody's fault but Oda. I feel like Nami's character design is nearly impossible to translate well into live action, considering... Everybody else in the cast is wearing, like, period-appropriate pirate gear, and then Nami's walking around in, like, an Abercrombie and Fitch top. Like, it, it's almost impossible for Nami not to look like a cosplayer. Her top and hair are just, like, so ridiculous. I almost wish they went with a natural redhead, rather than dyeing her hair this, like, grapefruit color. CGI looks, like, not bad, though. For a show... For a giant fish monster in a show that's not like Game of Thrones, this looks fine. Bigger islands and bigger pirates. <laughs> Yo! Whoa, was that Buggy? Whoa, what? Buggy looks crazy. Buggy looks wild. Oh, that's hype. Yo, I hope... Yo, yo, I hope they make Buggy scary. That would be such a cool take on the character. If Buggy was like scary and intimidating. Buggy is a knife-wielding psycho clown who can dismember himself at will. Okay, there is something inherently frightening about that pitch. Oh, he looks awesome. He looks like a Dead by Daylight killer. Also, like I was saying before about Cowboy Bebop's weird fish-eyed shots, I think they fit better here. This has- it's so weird. It's so weird that like, they're the same looking show. But One Piece is like madness. So it makes sense to have these like fish-eyed lenses, these weird angles. It it like it it's working better here for me. Not, Not a, a crew. crew. We haven't sailed together for very long. Oh, alright, a little Usopp, a little Sanji. Good looks from both of them. Some might argue maybe too good of looks. Usopp's pretty fucking hot in this show. Arguably the hottest character, which is not exactly what I would expect out of Usopp. Usopp does get like a real hardcore glow up post time skip, but pre that, he like he's such a dork. I don't know. We'll see, I have to see more of Usopp, but like, it is weird that they've got like hot ass Usopp in this show. And I know we've got each other's backs. God, it looks like there's a Vaseline on the lenses. Why does every shot look like this? Why is this the look of, like, Netflix live-action adaptations? Are they, like, trying to build a cinematic universe? Like, it's so weird that you could almost intercut shots of this show with the Cowboy Bebop show. And it's not... Look, I, I know I've been, like, praising it and saying that, like it fits better with One Piece, because it does, but it's still a weird look. Like, it's still, it looks like they're hiding the budget. Like, it, it looks like this is a cheaper show that they think if they just, like, fuck up with color, it's gonna, it's gonna come off as more premium. But it, it comes off a little tacky. It, com it comes off a little cheap. God!
Huh. Huh. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know how I feel about that. I think... I think the actor did the best he could. I think that's one of those things that's like... Don't make a live action One Piece, you know? But I don't know, this is my beef with live action anime stuff. Is that they refuse to translate the energy of an anime through cinematography. They, it's not that they can't, they just refuse to. Like, crazy over-the-top anime stuff like that doesn't work if you're just gonna do it with, like, a static medium shot of Luffy. Like, it looks ridiculous. It looks as ridiculous as if I just shouted gum gum pistol right now with this angle. Like, they aren't even trying to emulate the energy of these attacks with, like, dynamic moving camera shots, like, intense close-ups. It, the camera ends up following his fist as it goes back, but seeing the actor say the lines looks ridiculous because everything's so stable. Everything's so stable and so, like, far away from him, you know? And then, like, and then towards the end, when, like, Luffy finishes Pistol, he, like, leans back a bit and falls out of focus, making this already kind of ugly show look even uglier. All great fighters call out their finishing moves. No, they don't. Oh, I love that. That I kind of dig. Luffy, the actor is great. <laughs> the, oh, man. His excitement's really good. I have a lot of faith that Luffy will be very fun in this show. At least. I think he'll be fun. I think Zoro will be a lot of fun to watch. We didn't get a lot out of Nami or Usopp or Sanji. Luffy kills it. I like, I like his, like, all great fighters call out the names of their attacks. I wonder if people are gonna be mad at that, because Zoro says, no, they don't. I wonder if people are gonna be mad, but that's a cool change. Because I like that Luffy's doing it because he thinks it's hype. Not just because it's this weird anime rule that everyone is following for no reason. Zoro in the manga has so many fucking attacks for like every swipe of his sword, he shouts out a new attack. And same with Sanji with his kicks. I think it would be really dumb in live action if just every time Sanji kicks a dude, he shouts out a new dish name. But I think it's cool that Luffy's doing it because he's he, it's part of his weird pirate persona. This looks not bad. Genuinely, it looks like as good as I could have expected. With no expectations, with the bar being underground, this is looking not terrible. It's just like I said, it's such a weird and difficult anime to translate. And I think we need to see more. I think we really can't fully judge until we get like a whole first episode. I don't love that it looks like Cowboy Bebop, but I like that, I, I don't know, I think they're doing the best. I like can't imagine what I would do if, like, given the task of making a live-action One Piece. But everything's looking solid so far. I think what's really gonna matter are the interactions between characters. Because that's really what makes One Piece so good. Like, there's so many great villains, so many amazing characters, and so many amazing tender moments between them. This show is going to really have to nail those, like, tear-jerking, impactful moments. And I don't know if they will with, like, the cinematography I've been shown so far. One Piece has so many iconic panels that you just, like, drink in when you, like, flip to. Like, like this. Like, this doesn't awe me here like it does in the manga. You know what I mean? I think they're gonna have to do a lot more than just copy panels from the manga. Like, they need to really... That's the thing about the adaptations. They aren't taking into account that adapting isn't just copying. This adaptation is going to need changes, a lot of changes from the source material, but I want those changes to be because they fit a live action format rather than it's just too hard or they're too lazy to do it here. And that's what's tough about adapting something in a live action. And that's why so many fail because they're not willing to put in that work. But anyway, yeah, considering I had no expectations, considering I thought like, the worst version of this could truly have been the worst thing on the internet to date. And considering it's not, considering people are even like, oh, this might be okay, that says a lot. But anyway, those are my thoughts on the trailer. Let me know what you guys thought of it in the comments below. I'm cautiously optimistic. 
I think it could be fun. The Luffy's actor is really, like, really selling it for me, to be honest. And I will see you guys next time. Hold time to me, baby. Won't you come a little closer when I need for now? I wrote down what you said to me, baby.